7.3. Oh, wait a minute. Seven point three. We're going to do percents and decimals. So in the previous one, we talked about fractions. We went and did things like, well, thirty over twenty, and I change this into percent. I was able to change this into percent, and the way that I changed that was I went ahead, and if it's a percent, it has to be a hundred. So I have to multiply this guy by five. So if I have to multiply this guy by five, also, and I said, okay. 3 over 20 is the same as 15%. Okay, so this is what we did earlier. Okay. Now today we're going to talk about percents and decimals. Okay, so we're going to talk about percent. So let's say that I am telling you that I have 15%. Now the question is, can I transfer or change 15% into a decimal? To a decimal to do that, well, what is this? 15% is basically 15 over 100. So if you divide that, you're going to end up being 0.15, right? Okay. So really, all you did was from the percent mark, you went here and you moved the, the decimal over here and said that's your decimal. Okay. So if I have 36%, that's going to be equal to in decimal. 0.36, I set from here, move it over to, right? So all I'm doing, plain and simple. So if I have 117%, if I had 117%, again, I would start from here, move this small over one and two. So my decimal, decimal it'll be 1.17, okay? So 117%, is the same as 1.17. Pretty simple. Okay, so it says there in the middle box to write a decimal as a percent. So if I have a decimal, right, if I have a decimal, let's say that is 0.67, I want to write this go back to percent. I'm going to go backwards and I'm going to go from here, you know, to, to the right. And say, well, this is the same as 67%. Okay, so I start from here, and from here, I go to the right too. Right? It's the opposite operation. But over here, I went to the left too. Now I'm going to the right too. So if I have 1.17, I move this over two, it's the same as 117%. Right, 117% was 0 0.1.17. 1.17 is equal to 117%. Right, if I had two, okay, it's basically this is the decimal point here. So I can move it over here to the right. So this is the same as 200%, right? Okay. So two is the same as 200%. Okay. If I had 2%, I want to change this into a decimal. I'm going to move this over to one, two, which is the same as 0 0.02. So 2% is the same as 0 0.02. Okay. All right, let's look at example number one. Let's see if we can do a couple of these in practice. Example number one, write the decimals as percent. So I have a decimal of 0.62, one and 2.3. So Cooper, how would I go this 2%? Huh? It is. Right, so you move from here, you went over to say this is 62 percent. Okay. Pass or one, what percent is that? Okay. 
Yeah, so it's 1.0000, and you're going to move it from here, one, two, so it becomes 100%. Right? Grace? Yeah, so if I move it over here, one and two, so it's going to equal to 230%. Okay, pretty simple. Okay. Example number two, write the percents as decimals. Percents as decimals. So we're going to go backwards, we're going to do it the other way. Example number two, I have 75.4 and 168, 75%. 0.4% and 168%. Elijah? 0.75. Can I go from here and move it over here to 0.75? Josh? 0.4%. 0.004. So now you're going to go from here and you're going to move it over two, right? So one, two, so it's going to be 0 0.004. Logan? Uh, it's going to be 1.68. 1.68, exactly. So you're going to move it from here over two, 1.68. Okay. Example number three. Write the following as percents. Okay, this is kind of stuff that we already did. We've done this before. Example number three. Write as percents. Three and eights. Five thirds. Okay, so for this one, if I just do the long division, what do I get? I divide three, so eight, three, right? Zero, two, three, three, 24, six, zero, seven, 56, four, zero, five, 40, 50, zero. So you're going to get point three seven five and the question is well how do what percent is this so i have the decimal i have to go from decimal to percent right so i would move this over to the right or to the left to the right like that so that's going to equal to 37.5 percent okay on this one, if I divide it, I get 1.666 repeating all the way through. Right? So I have the decimal, and again, I'm going to go to the percent, so I can move it over here to so this becomes 166.6 repeating. So this will be in percent. Correct? Simple there. Example number four. Find the weight of the pygmy described in page 56. So the pygmy hippo is 10.5% of the common adult hippo's weight. Common adult is 560 pounds. So basically, what we're trying to find is what is 10.5% of. 560 pounds, you know, 55,600 pounds, right? Pounds, and I'm trying to find what is 10.5% of this, right? Well, I don't know how many pounds is the same as 10.5%. I change this into decimal, I move it over here, I get 0.105. So this is the same as 100 over 10.5. 10.5% is the same as that. So I just have to cross multiply, right? Cross multiply. I get 100x 
is equal to 10.5 times 5600. I divide both sides by 100. X is equal to 10.5 times 56. So I have to divide this guy by 100. All right, it's basically 56. Do the math there. If I do that, I am supposed to get 588. 588 pounds. About one tenth, right? 10.5 percent, about one tenth. Because one tenth would have been 560 pounds. 588 pounds. We're done. We're done for that section. Homework for this section is 13 through 46. What are you working on now?